Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2023 Entrada 24 FM Class C motorhome. This unit's on the Mercedes chassis. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, and then at the end we're going to close it up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. Alright, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Intrata 24 FM model here. So as you've seen on the floor plan, this is kind of a rear bedroom, front little loft area, one slide out unit here. Again, this is on the Mercedes chassis. So let's start back here in the rear of the RV and we'll kind of work our way forward. So back here on the wall area here, we have electric outlet and cable outlet. There's a backer in the wall so you can put your TV here. Digital thermostat for your AC and propane furnace. Light switch, electric outlet down there. You have a heat duct blowing out the bottom down here. Then you have four drawers and hanging closet space across the back section here. Looking up at the ceiling area here, you do have a roof vent back here. Both the windows back here by your bed do open. There is a little cubby area back in there. This is basically a camper queen bed. There's an electric outlet and a USB charger port on the side of your bed here. And then down below here, some little storage area underneath the bed. Beside your bed is a little kind of pantry area, I guess you would use it for. Back here at the foot of the bed, we have our bathroom area. So back here in the bathroom, starting in the rear section of the bathroom there, you've got a little vent fan and vent up top. There is skylight up above, step in shower, ABS tub surround with a pull across vinyl door. Porcelain foot flush toilet. You have your sink area and a little medicine cabinet up there. Step in here so you can kind of see it from the other direction. But for a small motorhome, it's got a decent sized little bathroom there. Now for bedroom privacy, there is a pull across accordion door here basically goes on a track and slides around to give you some privacy for your bedroom area if you have guests with you part of the slide out is the bed the little pantry thing here and your u-shape dinette so below the dinette area you have two full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers this dinette will also Make into a bed so you could sleep an extra guest or two here. The window back there does open. There is also some cabinet space up above. Now over on this side we have the little kitchen area. So down below the refrigerator there is kind of a furnace return vent. It has the 12 volt Everchill refrigerator here. This is roughly 10.7 cubic feet and again it's 12 volt. Now this refrigerator is a little unique. You can open the door this way or you latch it back in and you can also open the door this way. Same thing with the freezer part. You do have two pull-out drawers and some cabinet space there. Below the drawers you have a heat duct, 
propane leak detector, and the electric box with the breakers and fuses. Two burner gas stove top, a little flip down glass lid to give you a little more counter space when you're not actually using the stove. And it does have these little light up knobs. Um, also has a little built in sparker. Sink wise, you have the high rise sprayer faucet and one large undermount stainless sink. That window also opens as well. Up top, you got your graystone microwave and some more storage. Ducted AC system. There's also a couple speakers in here as well and a large turbo exhaust fan. These things move a lot of air. The unit is pre-wired for a Wi-Fi connect through WineGuard. Um, you can order a little connect box that goes here and subscribe to like AT&T or Verizon kind of thing and have Wi-Fi internet where you're traveling. There's a little bit of storage over here. You also have your Furion radio and the connector for the TV power booster and stuff is inside there. Traditional entry door and screen door, you do have the window in there. Uh, it's basically a two-step down, and then you have the power step on the outside. You'll see when we get out there as well. On the side of the cabinet here, another heat duct. You have awning light and step light button, awning in and out button, battery disconnect there, the solar charge controller. If you do the solar package, uh, there's a charge controller for the solar panel there. You'll see the solar panel and stuff on the roof when we go outside. I turned the seats around. Obviously, you can't drive like this. But, uh, you know, the seats are basically in camp mode. So you could sit there, have a nice little seating area. Those, again, will spin around. These are power seats. They also do have heat in them as well. So if it's cold winter time, you know, you got heated seat there. We'll go over the cab area here in a second. Over here, we have kind of a control area. So we got the gas water heater button, the electric buttons outside, water pump, uh, Arctic package here because it has 12 volt heat pads on it for the holding tanks, some light switches, uh, slide out button, rear docking light button, generator start stop feature here with the hour meter, and then your holding tank monitor as well. When you do the auto level jack button, this is the control here for the auto level, uh, base camp leveling by Lippert. That is kind of a touch screen. You do have to have the ignition put in the right position in order for that to activate and turn on. Up top here, you do have a little bit of space to stash some stuff here. USB charger ports, cup holders. There's a curtain back there, that curtain basically wraps around this window area here to give you privacy. This part here is also removable if you want to take this and put it up out of the way to give yourself more headroom while you're traveling. You can obviously see the ladder there, another window over there. Both the windows up here in the loft area do actually open. All right, I'm going to turn these seats around real quick. We'll show you what the cab area kind of looks like. We'll be right back. All right, we got our seat spun around here so we kind of see what this looks like. Uh, also moved a little portion of the bed out of the way there, just so we got a little more headroom going around here. Let's step on down into the cab area here. So first things up, we have kind of a rubber floor down there. So it's pretty easy to kind of clean up. And your park brake right next to the driver's seat down here. The seat have kind of a little lumbar support that goes out if you need it to. Kind of looking at our steering wheel stuff here, you do have some of your controls here, crews and things, uh, sensor stuff. You got obviously your horn, some phone controls, volume controls, all that type of stuff here built into the steering wheel. 
on your door over here you got your window up and down buttons mirror controls seat controls over here it does have memory uh, looks like one two and three there's a heated seat and your door locks down here as well kind of give you an idea what it looks like when you're driving here So in the center here, you have kind of a nice display screen here. Um, you know, it was on radio mode there. We're going to switch from radio media stuff. You got your nav controls here. Volume control here if you're not using the steering wheel stuff. And then you do have some other stuff here as far as navigation through you know, your home screen. Phone hookup, radios, different little things. We'll let the salespeople go over that with you when you end up purchasing. But you kind of get the idea here. Well, we're going to hit the button once. That kind of initiates and turns on some stuff here. And we're going to hit the button a second time, which takes us to another step of things kicking in. So when I do it the second time, stretch back here, you can kind of see a little screen right there where the jack controls are actually popped up there and is now working. Down below here, you have your heat and air controls, you know, your emergency button as well. So you have fan controls and stuff all right there. Little cup holders and stuff built in. Now, just down here on the side, a little hard to see with the camera stuff here. Um, but just down here, you have, you know, light controls. And then you also have on the bottom there, like a battery uh, connector. Uh, to connect the house battery to the engine battery in case it goes dead. Looking up again, when we hit that button the second time, we activated our cameras. So when you, you know, turn on your left turn, you're seeing down the left side of the RV. You turn on your right turn, you're seeing down the right side of the RV. You, know, you flip it back off and, you know, it'll kick back to the uh, middle at some point. You do have the backup camera, I mean, uh, you know, you got your little uh, light controls here for your doors and some different things up here as well. There is little sun visors and you also have a little cubby up above here to kind of put some stuff as well. Now at the bottom part of the dash down there is a little cubby so you can stick some things there. Looking up, you have little cubbies for cup holders and stuff up there, whatever you want to use it for. And then here, got a little push button. This pops up. You got a charge controller there, 12 volt outlet in here, and some, looks like some sort of USB connector stuff there. So you could maybe kind of stash something in there if you needed to. But overall, pretty roomy, easy to drive, pretty quiet as well with this uh, diesel engine and stuff in it. All right, we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Entrada 24 FM Class C motorhome here. We're going to start here on the door side of the RV and kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass base exterior, which is attached to an Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luon backer. So nice improvement for construction of the sidewalls. We have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, manual override in the front arm head. Uh, some of the windows on the RV are gonna be the frameless looking window. And obviously you have your traditional uh, cab windows and an entry door window. It does have a power step to help you get in and out of the RV. Pretty good size storage compartment here on this side. Next to the entry door there, you've got a few advertisement stickers there. One talking about that Asdale material again. There's an electric outlet and a cable outlet there as well. You have your furnace exhausting out here, and then you have your six gallon gas electric water heater. You can see in the picture popping up there, it has an inch and a 16th drain plug in the lower middle. 
electric switch to turn it on electric in the lower left hand corner and then your pressure relief valve in the top center there. Now in the back corner underneath of here is your gray and black dump handles to pull. So you want to hook up your dump hose on the other side, you'll see when we get there. Pull the handle that's on the other side, then pull your black, get all the nasty out, then pull your gray to rinse everything out. There's technically three different handles to pull. On around to the back side here, you have a traditional flat back rear end. It does have a four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people like to store their dump hose inside there. Uh, you could put say, you know, maybe a little bike rack or something on there that's lightweight, nothing real heavy. You also have a hitch on the back, two inch hitch receiver. And it does have a seven way Bartman wired up plug there. It does not have an electronic brake controller or anything like that in there. So if you wanted to tow something that needed brakes, uh, you would have to wire that part up aftermarket. But the basic stuff there, as far as ground, running lights, turn signals, that type of stuff is all wired into it. Just to the right of that hitch is a gas line hookup there. So you could plug in like a portable gas grill. And then looking up underneath the bottom here, you can see hot and cold, some low point water drains. And also there's 12 volt heat pads on those holding tanks for cold weather camping. Now in the top rear center there is a rear observation camera. So you can see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite. In between the taillights here is the fresh water fill. It is a gravity fill portable water tank. So you basically just stick your hose in there, fill it up. On around to this side, you have your city water inlet, black tank flush to clean out the toilet tank. You have your cable inlet and also your electric cord hookup. It is a detachable power cord that you twist into place there and then plug in. Also, you can see the little docking light there as well. Now, this one has a generator on it as well, and the generator exhausts out in the lower corner there. But below the door, the bottom door there behind the axle, is where your generator is. It is a 4,000 watt generator. You can see that popping up in the picture there. I'm also going to pop up a picture here of the model number and stuff in case you want to research it and kind of learn a little more about it but it runs off the propane tank of the RV. Slide out on this side does have a slide out awning cover over top of it. Those are a nice feature to have. That right there basically helps shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, things like that. So when you roll it in, it's not, hopefully not messing anything up. Decent amount of storage underneath of this section as well. Same thing down here. And then you can see your propane tank over here. And while we're down here, there is a little side camera. There's one on each side. So you can see what's going on beside you when you turn on your turn signals. And you have a little compartment built in here and another one over here. You have dual rear wheels. Now popping up a couple quick pictures of the rooftop here so you can kind of see up here things as far as you know plumbing stack vents, skylights, your air conditioner up here, uh, TV antenna. This particular one was also ordered with the solar package. So you have roughly 190 watt solar panel and it also comes with a second house battery. That's a nice feature to add to the RV. Really nice heavy duty fiberglass front cap on this thing as well. You fill up here, basically just in behind this area right here. It's 
it's where you put your diesel fuel in. Again, this is a diesel engine in this particular uh, Mercedes version. You do have heated seats here, power seats, some memory stuff here, you know, your power mirrors and windows. Battery uh, connect here. Obviously some lights and stuff. Typical Mercedes kind of front section here. Very nice setup. Obviously the driver and passenger seats did flip around. Now on the side of the door frame here, there is some very important informational stickers here and I wanna pop these up for you. The very first one popping up is your main production data sticker. And this one has production date, VIN number, uh, some axle information and stuff on it right there. Next is popping up is what they refer to as a cargo carrying capacity sticker, just basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV. Uh, next, tire sticker here, telling you tire size, but most importantly, tire pressure. Uh, very important to keep up with your tire pressure there. Um, also, there is an unloaded vehicle weight sticker here as well. Just kind of telling you what the RV weighed empty at the factory. Quick picture here. Uh, let's pop up the hood so you can kind of see what it looks like underneath of there as well. We'll put some more details on this type of stuff down in the description for you. This one was also ordered with the little step boards on the side. Let's open up this side here just so you can kind of see around here a little bit as well. Little cubbies inside the door frame area there. You have seat controls and stuff as well. All right, we're gonna head back inside. Want to close this thing up for you real quick, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Entrada 24 FM model here. And I wanna show you what this thing looks like closed up. So when you are ready to close this thing up, you have to come back in here to your control panel and here's your button to run it in and out. In order to activate things, you do have to hit your ignition key to basically fire up things and make it work properly with the slides. So first thing you got to do when you are ready to bring it in is flip your mattress. So the mattress flips up into travel mode. Make sure everything is out of the way so you don't accidentally damage anything or hit anything. This is a slim rack slide system by Lippert. And this basically is ran by 12 volt. So once it's all the way in, you can see we still have room to fully walk to the back of the RV. So we come on back here. I could get to some of my closet and dresser. Still have full access to get to your bathroom, get to your refrigerator, use your kitchen stuff. You could, you know, sit here. You got a couple seat belts built into this area. So you could sit here. Uh, you know, during travel, you could put this down into bed mode once you're at a rest area or campsite or whatever. Still sleep in here even with the, you know, slide closed up. You got access to obviously get up here into your bunk area if you needed to. So nothing real crazy. You know, still pretty functional. All closed up. 
All right, guys, thanks again for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a ton of money on a new RV. Thanks again.